डाउट्स में अटकते सब्जेक्ट्स में लटकते कब तक हम रहेंगे सर पटकते अब वेदांत तू देगा प्रॉब्लम से छुटकारा आई के समझ हाय माइगा तो मजा आएगा मजा आएगा तो समझ आएगा बढ़िया टीचर्स प्रॉब्लम्स टुटकी में सुलझाएंगे डाउट सारी जिंदगी से आज आई गॉट योर डाउट दिस इज योर आंसर समझ आएगा तो मजा Vedantu learn live online to attend a free live class download the app now Hey guys this is Ambika master teacher of biology at Vedantu Now as school students in India I completely understand the very very hectic schedule that you would be facing almost every day right because you attend school for uh, almost 8 hours which is like one third of your day and then after school you probably have to take extra classes like your coaching classes your hobby classes sports practice and so many other things so what is it that would leave us with some time for self study and is self study important at all so yes today i would like to talk to you about the importance of self study and how much in a day do you ideally have to do some self study okay but before that i would like to tell you this okay um, right from my school days and probably even many generations before that it's a common mistake that students commit what i'm talking about is going behind in search of the right uh, preparatory guide books and going in search of the best coaching centers we think that if we have the uh, right books in hand if we have the right um, coaching center uh, where we have enrolled everything is done we feel that uh, we have completely done our part by just having those books in hand and enrolling at such premier institutes but you know what self study or the time that you give to understand the concepts on your own is even much more important than these of course i don't deny the fact that the right guidance is always a very very vital thing it plays a very very vital role in success but in my personal opinion and from what i have seen through experience uh, observing many of my co uh, students co teachers and their students and my students what i have been observing is that self study okay um honestly can open up a lot of areas in your brain that nothing else can possibly do i'm talking about um how self study can open out and let your creativity flowing and how it can let you identify your own strengths and weaknesses how it can boost your self confidence and so on and on and on basically in a nutshell i can tell you that self study sessions definitely end up making you a much better version of yourself so now comes the question how much of self study in a day okay so let's just calculate roughly this may not work for all of you but roughly let's just do a basic calculation of how your day can be okay so uh, probably on a weekday you would be attending about 8 hours of school yes so that's about 1/3 of your day um let's calculate about 1 hour 30 plus 30 minutes of travel to and from school so that makes it 9 hours and then of course you need around 7 hours of sleep at least so that makes it 9 plus 7 which adds up to 16 hours of the day then definitely you need time for uh, eating and a little bit of refreshment your personal hygiene all of those things which i would give about 4 hours okay so that makes it 20 hours leaving you with 4 hours of the day so those 4 hours you could in case you are the kind of person who uh, attends some kind of coaching classes or you attend vedantu sessions or whatever it is that you've been doing you can probably allot 2 or 3 hours to that even 1 hour of self study can be very very useful on a normal day definitely if you can increase this to uh, probably 2 hours well and good nothing better than that and on weekends you can certainly bring this up to 5 hours okay so 2 hours 1 to 2 hours whatever works for you for on weekdays and 5 hours or even more if that practically works for you on saturdays and sundays so try doing this guys if you have been the kind of student who has never been giving enough time for self study probably you can start with 30 minutes in a day 
gradually increase it to one hour. I would say ideally two hours of self-study in a day, but take it one step at a time and eventually increase it to five hours during weekends because you will notice for yourself how much of positive influence this can have on your brain and on your overall well-being because learning and studying is not just for the sake of exams it is basically to teach you and prepare you for facing a lot of situations out there in the real world so let's aim at becoming um, self-motivated self-confident and people with a lot of self-esteem if you have anything to add to this do feel free to add them in the comment section below and until we meet again this is Ambika signing off bye bye